You know, I've been wondering lately why there has been so much in the news about chimeras or mixing DNA and so on and so forth. I've been really, really wondering why. Like, I mean, if we, if we go over the dates of all these things that we've posted about chimeras, it's been maybe like on the 26th, on the 8th, uh, in June, and then, oh, excuse me, this was last month, last month, July, June, and then uh, May. And this was the first time it was really truthfully hard, hardly mentioned, uh, hardly mentioned. That's probably not the right way to say that, but you get what I'm saying. All of a sudden, the past two to three days, there have been countless reports, and we've, I've been trying to get them to everybody, um, about chimeras or, or things that are strange coming about. And now, today, on August 4th, it becomes clear as to why there has been so much news regarding chimeras or CRISPR, gene editing, and so on and so forth. Have a look at this, folks. The government is going to lift the moratorium on cross-species chimera research. Oh boy. The National Institutes of Health is planning to lift the moratorium on funding for research studying the effects of injecting animal embryos with human stem cells. The agency last year issued a moratorium for such funding while it studied the issue further. But NPR is reporting the NIH plans to lift that and allow scientists to conduct so-called chimera experiments under strict... Uh, let, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. So now they are going to 100% conduct the chimera experiments. And for those of you who do not know what chimera experiments are, I please, please, I urge you, go to this link. I will leave it as the source link for this video. I will obviously leave the other link uh, to the government uh, from the Washington Times um, at freedomfightertimes.com slash news. That's where you can find all the links to all of our videos. Um, but for this particular video, this is, a, this is a search result. It's called Chimeras um, on our website, and this is what you can find there. And throughout these articles and videos, you're going to find the information you need to understand exactly what CRISPR is. It's because it's a gene editing technology, and you're also going to find out what it actually is um, regarding Chimeras and how this relates back to Greek and so on and so forth. It goes back to Babylon and everything. It, this is just the beginning of it. And speaking of going back to Babylon, isn't it funny that Jesus specifically mentions casting the uh, casting legion into swine in Matthew chapter 8 verse 28 through 34 Luke chapter 8 verses 26 through 37 Mark chapter 5 verses 1 through 19 and that's the one we're going to read Mark chapter 5 and they came over to the other side of the sea into the country of the Gadarenes and when he was come out of the ship there met him incontently out of the graves a man which had an unclean spirit who had his abiding among the graves, and no man could bind him, no, not with chains, because that when he was often bound with fetters and chains, he plucked the chains asunder, and brake the fetters in pieces, neither could any man tame him. And always, both night and day, he cried in the mountains and in the graves, and struck himself with stones. And when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him, and cried with a loud voice, and said, what have I to do with thee, Jesus, the Son of the Most High God? I will that thou swear to me by God, that thou torment me not. For he said unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. And he asked him, What is thy name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion, for we are many. And he prayed him instantly, that he would not send them away out of the country. Now there was there in the mountains a great herd of swine feeding. Very interesting, right? Swine. And all the devils besought him, saying, Send us into the swine, that we may enter into them. And incontently, Jesus gave them leave. Then the unclean spirits went out and entered into the swine. And the herd ran headlong from the high bank into the sea. And there were about two thousand swine, and they were choked up in the sea. And the swine herds fled and told it into the city and in the country. And they came out to see what it was that was done. And they came to Jesus and saw him that had been possessed with the devil and had the legion sit both clothed and in his right mind and they were afraid. And they that saw it told them what was done to him that was possessed with the devil and concerning the swine. 
Then they began to pray him that he would depart from their coasts. And when he was come into the ship, he that had been possessed with the devil prayed him that he might be with him. Howbeit Jesus would not suffer him, but said unto him, Go thy way home to thy friends, and show them what great things the Lord hath done unto thee, and how he hath had compassion on thee. Interesting, correct? How Jesus specifically mentions swine, because it was an event that took place with the swine herds, and we're sitting here today with experiments that are going on regarding swine and man. And how mankind is, is about, or excuse me, science, because I can't, it's not all of mankind, it's science that is attempting to create chimeras using swine or pigs. And they will be soulless. Because it's, it's, it's a science creation, it's not, it's not of God. Instead, we've got man trying to play God and create its own way. And what's going to happen is these creatures, these things that will be created, there will be no one doing this. People do not realize that. Oh, it, you know, it's just experiments. They're just in the experiment stage. Right. Like they haven't been experimenting this entire time. Okay. Because they don't make stuff public unless they've already completed it and are ready to make it public. They've been doing it in their little secret demonic labs, but now it's about to be mainstream. And people are okay with this. I mean, this is on the Washington Times, and there is people are, I, I mean, people are okay with this? They want to take a human stem cell and put them inside these animal embryos in the hopes that the human stem cells, which can become any kind of cell or tissue in the body, will become integrated into the embryos and then develop into animals that have partially or even fully human parts in their bodies, said NPR health correspondent Rob Stein on Thursday. Need I say more? And I love how some people still don't understand what this means. Science is going to take something and mix it with another and expect that nothing bad is going to happen out of this. That's just stupid. And you have all the degrees. Wow. Can we get a degree in common sense? That's, that's what I really think. That scientists and researchers need to have a degree in common sense before they can go on and get their other degrees. Because this is not common sense. This is flat out stupid. Stupid. But anyways, I'm going to stop ranting and raving. Obviously, uh, I've covered this quite quite specifically the past few few days, so I'm quite upset about it, of course. I was unaware that this was going to take place today. It just I, I had a feeling it was going to or it was coming because, the, again, they've been hounding on this in the news lately. And, of course, it's not in you know the mainstream spotlight like everything else is. You have to go through and find it. But it, there's been a lot of it lately. But anyways, that's all I've got for you. God bless and carry on.